So I just received the most bittersweet news of all time. My flight was canceled. So that's a bad thing because I did have to go to work and there is no other flight. It's also a good thing because it's two more Disney days. There's not a flight until Monday. That's crazy to me, but um, don't forget to log out of Netflix before you leave your hotel room. Kind of like Oktoberfest, but festival of October. And we go there and um, we just make up things as we go. So we're gonna do that now. I need to get an Uber, because now I don't have a car. This was not expected. I don't have a room, but this room we have one more night and then tomorrow we can check into Disney Resort. And um, yeah, I guess, oh my gosh, I wanna show you something. Oh, I really gotta show you guys this. So my other magic band broke the other day and this is my new one. It's so cute. Okay, so we just got to Epcot like maybe 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. And um, I think it's pretty obvious I had a costume change because I was walking by this family. Okay, I think I saw, I showed you guys what shirt I was wearing. It was the one that says, I've got your back. And the woman in the group just stops walking and just stares at me. She's wearing sunglasses, but I knew she was looking at me. And she's like, oh my God. And I'm like, wait, is she looking at me? And she goes, and the whole family starts circling over. It's probably like a group of seven. I don't remember, I started to blur it all out. And she goes, why would you even think that that was appropriate for Disney? And I'm like kind of confused because the shirt's a joke. It's literally like two skeletons and the one skeleton's grabbing the other one's spine and pulling on it and he goes, I got your back. Like it's corny and it's Halloween time. I think it's two weeks till Halloween or three. And I was just trying to be like festive-y and um, I didn't think it was that inappropriate but it made me feel super weird and uncomfortable and I'm like, well, if they're thinking it, maybe other people are thinking it. So I just spent the last 10 minutes buying anything else to wear that would maybe make it look like I'm not trying to be all in dark clothing. I just was trying to be Halloween-y. I'm like super overwhelmed now. <sighs> I was just gonna call you and tell you that dang blow dryer's here already. So I'm on the phone with my mom. I have her muted right now because I needed a pep talk after that, like after having someone yell at me and make fun of me. I usually don't let things get to me like that, but for some reason I think I was just embarrassed over the whole situation. My mom is still telling me it's okay. She's upset that I changed my outfit. And she's like, you should never let anyone take your shine. Go have fun. It's nobody's business what you're wearing. It wasn't inappropriate. You have yourself covered. And I do. Yes, mom, I'm here. I'm here. But I wanted to film that monorail. I do too, because you know what? If you really think about it, we're all skeletons walking around. Yeah. Secretly. I need to just get my own back, not let this ruin my day. Everybody needs to learn to be nicer to each other. Seriously, you do. And I may think things in my head, but I will never ever go out of my way to make anyone feel bad about themselves, except for some people. My mom's like, let me see what shirt this is. And when I showed her it, she's like, You've got to be kidding. No, I'm not kidding at all. But, you know what? I can't let this ruin my night just because she's angry. She doesn't realize that underneath it all, she's a skeleton too. It really wasn't that big of a deal. I'm going to get over the shirt thing. You only live once. And I'm not going to live my life being upset about some Karen who's upset about a shirt that was a joke. And it's actually kind of ridiculous now that I'm coming to terms and remembering who I am. I... I, I need to just... But honestly, it's too pretty of a night for this. And you know what? I could take an Uber tonight and die on my ride home. And, I, and I'll be darned if I let my last night on Earth be spent being upset about some weird old lady. All right, now we're just gonna head to World Showcase, try some things. I have not done anything food and wine besides that waffle the other day. So I think it's just time. Boarding groups for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure are full. They weren't full at 1 p.m. Anyway, I'm trying to find anything that I would like here, and I'm already to the United Kingdom Pavilion, and I still don't see anything at all that I would actually eat. I'm having issues. Earth Eats reminds me of when like I was a vegan for like 24 minutes. It was a weird time. Look at that. It kind of looks like like the second star to the bottom. Sorta. 
Oh my god, just gorgeous. What a beautiful, beautiful thing. And for the first time in my entire existence, I am finally seeing this like close, like not just from like Japan. I'm actually seeing it in real life. And there's a little blue one up there to the right. He's just hanging in there. He's like, I don't want to go off. This is my time to shine. And I don't blame him, honestly. It is your time to shine, little guy. <gasps> now you fit in, sorta. Honestly, I'm like kind of mesmerized. I don't feel like I've ever seen anything more beautiful in my entire life and I can't stop looking at it. Besides Gracie, she's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. But, um, yeah. That's intense. That is beautiful. Oh my god, I can't stop looking at it. It's so weird. I've seen this my whole life for the past 30 years and never seen it like where I can't stop looking. I feel like a moth going to the light. Like, I'll keep walking to you, but I'm gonna die soon. You know, I would like to think that this is kind of like being in love with somebody for your entire life, and then suddenly out of nowhere, you're like, wow, yeah, I really do love them. It's actually happening. Like, I didn't think this was going to happen, but it's happening. And I'm like freaking out because this is the only thing I want to do on the entire excursion of the trip. Ooh, our boarding pass. So like I just said, I thought maybe we're like orange, cause you know like mission space. But there is other colors and they tell them like, you know, what each one means. Like so, is orange lounge? Um, no, so any of these can be anywhere in the restaurant. It's just to make sure our seaters know who's coming up in this elevator. So, so we'll you told them we are yeah. orange cat. Mm -hmm. That they is so They get a so little ticket that says your name, how many in your party, where you're sitting, and what color pass you got. That is so neat. We got the Halloween pass. It's happening. We're getting in the, the hydrolator. I'm so excited. I can't even take it. I'm so freaking out. I think I like this most because it reminds me just of vintage Epcot. Here we go. Goodness gracious, what is this magical thing? It's the land in space. It's literally the land ride in space. Oh, I'm like freaking out. This is so cool right now. Okay, so I'm kind of like trying to comprehend what's happening right here because I looked forward to this more than I've looked forward to anything Disney has done recently. And it's not because it's food, it's because it's just so cool to me. And um, we didn't really lose anything to gain this, which you know, look at that couple out there floating around. I'm not too finger pointing. I literally just was like, look, look at this place. I want to walk up to the window, but I'm going to wait until I'm going to wait. Uh-huh. Look at the silverware. It's very spacey. Like, it's very, like, space-like. Like, you're going to eat dehydrated ice cream. So I did just place the order. I got a drink. I ordered the Planetary Punch. He said it has bubbles, so as soon as they said bubbles, I like went right for it. And then I ordered the short ribs and chicken on a waffle. We're gonna see how it is. This is the lounge area, so. But they did tell me I could order off the regular menu right now if I wanted to. Not sure why I keep doing this with my hand. I think it's an exciting thing. Like I'm like, I just saw Spaceship Earth light up for the first time and fell back in love with it. And now I'm in the restaurant I wanted to be on. It's just as cool as I thought it would be. So I think there's like a lot of emotions happening here. And now I just want to find the Remy square cheese thing. The Remy thing. Like the Remy, um, I wish I could go to um, that pinata uh, Mexico pavilion dessert, but I'm not going to be able to do that. So maybe I'm going to stop talking. Look at that. You can see the bubbles coming out. I am a sucker for dry ice, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so the food is here, and I am at a small table. These are the sliders. I'm pretty excited to eat those, they look amazing. And this right here is the chicken waffle. All right, here we go. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Honest review time. Like the cheese isn't melting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
waffles. Oh my god. The breading is like super light and fluffy. Oh my god, it's so good. Now this, the camera's not. There. Now this is really good. Mm. Oh my god. I have to be honest with you guys, this waffle, I thought maybe I was confused at first, but it legitimately tastes like if you went to Jiffy Lube and you were like, can I get a tire for a snack? No. This is tastes just like a tire. Like when you walk into like Michelin and you walk in, this is the smell in a food. It's very weird. I've never tasted anything like it in my life. I haven't covered up with a piece of chicken. So weird. But it can be cards. Those are cards? They are cards. They are trading cards. <coughs> they are the new pink trading. Oh. They call the Willy Wonka, the golden card. Okay. These come only with the kids meal or when you buy a mocktail. The white one on eBay is 1300 oh. right now. Oh my. So, here you go. Thank you. And I want to... Got it. <laughs> and I'm excited. The white one is one in a thousand. So, um, I was not expecting this, but we got some pixie dust again and we have the, what is this called? Lemon mousse. Lemon mousse dessert here. And it is so fancy. Look at that. There is nothing more fancy than that. And the little blueberries. Oh wait, I didn't get it. I kind of got it. All right. I need a blueberry. Make the full effect here. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm trying to do this through a screen. The blueberry got stuck. Oh crap. There you go. No. Oh, nope. Okay, now we're gonna do it. Meow. Wait, wait, space. Beep. 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 What? Yes. We did have time to go over to Club Cool and try everything and I haven't seen the new Club Cool really yet. And I'm watching 30 Seconds to Mars, The Kill, and I'm really getting in my feels here. You know, getting in my feels. I'm really excited. I really wanted to do this so bad. I mean, I, I'm just excited to see like the new flavors and taste Beverly again and just, you know, do all the things that give me the feels. So it's obviously a little bit different than what it used to be because it used to be where we could just all gather together and just go for it and wing it and see what we wanted to do. And now you have to wait in a line inside of the store after you already waited a line and then try it individually as your family, which is kind of cool because I really don't like people that much, but it's still also kind of inconvenient because now we have to wait and Harmonious is going to start very soon. So I'm debating like, do I want to do this right now or do I want to get over there and make sure I see Harmonious? This is the bonus day. So either way I should be happy with whatever happens. I got to see Space 222. I have to be a little bit honest. Oh, there it goes. It flipped over. I um kind of feel like this isn't very club-like to me. There's no like music. There's no tables. There's no lights. There's no like excitement happening. The floors are not sticky, which is typical for club cool. And I just feel like it's not the same. But maybe in time it will become a little bit more cool. But right now, club cool is pretty uh hot right now. No, not hot. Wrong word. So cool, it's pretty, um, to be continued. So apparently this is all like smashed Coke bottles, which is, I guess, pretty cool. So I guess that's pretty cool. Okay, 
so I need to be on X Games mode for this. If I want to make it to Harmonious really quick, I need to be on X Games mode right now and like power speed through these drinks and I'll tell you, good, bad, good, bad. China. It's like a fire pit. He's like broken burning. Or Korea. Not bad. Dominican Republic. Madagascar. Italy. Worst one was Rome burning in China. Uh, that is so bad. Beverly is even better than that. That one. It's not the same. It's not the same. There was this one that I really loved. It was like watermelon. We gotta get the harmonious. I don't have time to talk about this with you guys. You'll know when you try it. You'll know. You'll know Rome burning is China. And you will know Beverly is just as bad as it always was. And you will know that the one that I love so much is gone now. So. So this is um, my um, most recent view of Harmonious and I am in the fast fast viewing area and I still cannot see so oh I saw that <laughs> nothing will ever beat the holiday tag nothing if I just hate the show because I've never really seen it because I'm so short and I have no one to put me on their shoulders. I don't know what it is, honestly. And you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of Harmonious. You can't. This jacket is sick, dude. But I gotta try this on. Yeah, you're not kidding. That's the most gnarly jacket in the whole place. So I have been wanting this Epcot jacket, and it looks absolutely ridiculous on me. Like it looks. I look like a freaking astronaut. All right, we got it gray. Then it turns purple. Look at that in all of its beauty. It doesn't oh, perfect. Bye! I'll never forget you! Never forget you! Look at him go. But like a grand and miraculous, like a grand and miraculous spaceship. That is gorgeous. Have you ever seen anything so incredible in your entire life? There is nothing more beautiful than you. The both of you, together. What a gorgeous couple. Um, this is the Uber Lyft line. I'm in trouble. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, I mean, wow. Wow, no, can you even see this? We are like around the turn right now. And I'm so, it looks like your local fireworks show here on the lawn. It's crazy. I don't mean to film people because I know you guys hate that, but like, um, what?